Hey guys, welcome back to the Vaughn Homestead. Uh, today I was going to do a quick review video on a not so expensive uh, incubator that I have gotten off Amazon. As you see, I've gotten two of them. Uh, they're kind of backwards, but that's because of the placement of the cord. Uh, this is what's called the Smart Incubator. You can kind of see what the top of it looks there. Uh, it holds 12 eggs. Uh, it's pretty simple. Basically, it just as soon as you plug it up, it's automatically set to the uh, this one that they, they read Celsius. Uh, so the 38 Celsius is what equals out to the 99 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But of course, uh, I think you can also order it in Fahrenheit. I just didn't notice it whenever I first uh, ordered them. Uh, basically, you take the cover off to add in the water. It does come with a with a like a bottle holder that you see that would have attached right here. But it didn't really work too well, so I just plugged that with some uh, some glue and a little stick in there to kind of help hold the glue in whenever it was trying to harden. Uh, and I just pour in the water myself whenever I take the cover off. Uh, it's, like I said, it's like 40 bucks off of Amazon uh, every now and then. I got one of them I paid full price, and the other one I actually got, it was like a little small sale going on. I got it for like $35, $36. This is going to be my, this is my third set. Uh, using these incubators, this is my fourth set of eggs, and so far I have gotten a hundred percent hatch rate every time. Out of well, no correction, this is my fifth one. I've had three sets of eggs so far, and all three sets have come out hundred percent hatch rate. This will be my fourth set. This will be my fifth set. Uh, other than you know, of course, like the unfertile eggs. Uh, you know, of course, about halfway through I'll candle them, and any of them that still light up like a little light bulb get tossed out because obviously there ain't nothing going on in them but everything that does start to grow so far i've had 100 percent hatch rate on the uh nurture right 360 incubator that i was using i was only averaging about 60 to 70 percent hatch rate uh, a lot of chicks were not making it out of the egg they were they would start to develop but then either stop or just you know for some whatever reason just didn't make it out the egg these things here uh, of course, the Nurture Right, if you ever used it, has a very slow turning uh, whenever it does turn every couple hours. These right here, ain't gonna lie, will sound like as if they're trying to scramble eggs. <clears throat> and I'll even show you what I'm talking about here. First time I seen it doing it, I was like, whoa, man, that is a lot of turning. It does it for about 10-ish 10, about seconds. But I don't know if that's what makes it do even better compared to the Nurture Right 360 or what. But so far, like I said, other than the unfertile eggs, I've been having 100% hatch rate. Uh, also, what I like to do because of the fact that we generally keep our bedroom, which is where we keep this shelf at, uh, so I keep a you know good watch on the egg and stuff. Plus, if there's any hatching out middle of night, I can hear them you know chirping, and we'll we'll wake up and get them moved out. Uh, we generally keep our bedroom at about 68 degrees, so I take a t-shirt, kind of put it over like half half of the incubator, as you can see, like like that, uh, and so that way it kind of helps to hold in the heat to where the temperature doesn't drop too much. I keep my cup of water, like I said, that I'll. But about once a week, I'll uh, pour, just take the top off, pour in the water. But like I said, uh, and then, of course, I, I take a piece of masking tape. I write down the date that I put them in, the date that I need to take the turner out, and the uh, expected date that they should hatch at the 21-day mark. And so far, to be honest, uh, all the previous sets of eggs have all uh, hatched out actually uh, one day early. So... This set was supposed to hatch out on the 26th. They actually come out on the 25th. This one was supposed to hatch out on the 9th. And they actually come out on the 8th, which, which was just a couple days ago. And so, and then I restarted up this one yesterday because this was the one that hatched out right there. So, hope this video is helpful for some of you guys who may be trying to look for an inexpensive uh, incubator to use. Uh, like I said, I highly recommend it. Of course, some folks have had good experiences. Uh, some, of course, would like everything else. You, you are, some folks have had bad experiences with it uh just like everything else everybody's got a horror story for every product out there every now and then you just get a bad one and automatically assume that it must be all of them but 
I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. Uh, and like I said, so far I've had good successful rates with it. So y'all got any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in that comment section. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, y'all have a good one.